Alright, game six between the Viper, Jordan, and Chris and Doubt. This is what it comes down to. Viper and Jordan is, well, the scores at the moment, three to the Viper and Jordan, two to Doubt and Chris. So at this point, Doubt and Chris are trying to keep it so that really they can't win. And the Viper and Jordan are going for the four, going for the win there. So right now we are looking at the Viper who's playing as the Mines, obviously being one of his favourite civilizations at the moment, or just the one he got stuck with. Um, we'll come down and look at Jordan right now. Jordan is playing as Huns and Blue, Viper is playing as Yellow. Over here we have their opponent, Chris, who is playing in Green, also playing as the Mines, and Doubt over on this side, playing as Red, naturally allied with Chris, playing as the Huns. So it's going to be quite a good game. This game is going to be the one which decides it. First ball in there for the Viper already. I don't think we're going to have any boar stealing yet. I believe we had one already, and honestly, that was quite bad. We nearly had a revenge boar. Nearly had the boar come back to someone else, but I think it was just lost at the last minute there. Jordan lucked out getting that one back. So, so far, it has been quite good. Let's have a look at the exploration. Viper, well, let's have a look at the setups first. So, we've got forward golds there, forward stone, backwards there. Looks like he actually, he's actually got quite a good position to wall off. He's definitely, he could sit back and fast castle if he really wanted to at this point. Especially if he walls off around here and probably use that gold mine and come back around here. That's quite a good position, honestly. He's got this already on this side, this river here giving him his jump, this stone here giving him as well. It's almost like it was set up to wall off for him. And let's have a look at Jordan down over here. What do we have? We have a side stone there, mostly towards the back. Easy wall off down this side here. Looks like it only takes two houses or so. I can hear a barracks. Ford stone and Ford golds. They are going to be an issue unless he walls off around here. And then around here, definitely possible. Definitely possible to wall off at this big area, actually. However, I don't know who will be thinking in that larger scale at this point in time. But I did definitely hear a barracks there at some point. There we go, so barracks up here. Militia coming out, and it looks like Chris is about to notice this. It looked to me like Chris just noticed that and just sent a message to Doubt. So knowing that this is going to happen, continuing on through this way here. And what do we got here? here? We've got the lumber camp. And lots of houses coming up there already. So he is walling off. He is completely walled off there. And it looks like he's going to come up to the feudal age quite quickly. Jordan up into the feudal age already at 10 minutes 19. So that means he's going for... What do we got? Stable. Again, lots and lots of scout rushing in this game thus far. Losing one there. Very heavy, looks like Chris is going to lose that. Doubt, I think... He's already got his barracks up. What are you doing? Scouts coming from Jordan, though, so it's already on the scout rush there. Chris having the highest count at the moment could be due to his military presence and the fact that he's already got a kill. But just sitting here harassing, as you can see, lots of gold coming out there for the Viper. So naturally we can expect archers to be coming off that. So we've got Chris and Viper going up then as well, meaning that everybody is in feudal age. Quite a few scouts up here, and it looks like from that that... Yep, Doubt's gone the scouts as well, however Doubt is walling off now. Viper has walled off this side here and walled off there, so his wood camp is safe. And we've got a stone wall coming up there, nothing says to your opponent like, get off my back, and a stone wall. But we've got man at arms here from Chris, so obviously he's trying to get a bit of damage done. I've got an archer coming out there. I don't know if they'll stop them, because they're men-at-arms. Men-at-arms are quite a strong unit. Especially having that one armor already, as you can tell. But men-at-arms, of course, being the strongest unit available in the Feudal Age, however, being the slowest as well. So it can be extremely easy walled up against, which isn't good. I believe that's one thing they are trying to change in the actual expansion, which comes out for Forgotten Empires. They are making it harder to wall. For instance, walls aren't going to be built as fast. Because at the moment, it's actually ridiculous how fast like, someone can put up a stone wall. Not good. <laughs> Whether or not he did that on purpose, I don't know. But it could have just been because his archer came in and it would have been stuck. We've got Jordan coming in here with some scouts as well to help out. Very nice team play there. However, we do have Doubt over in here, killing off quite a few villagers. One, two, three. And a spear. That's quite a big deal at this stage. 
And what have we got? Viper going into castle. Like I said, he had quite a good effort, and that's 18 minutes. That's not a bad effort, honestly, considering he got harassed like that. Bringing these gold mines out was obviously to get him up into castle quicker. Town center coming up there, so going to be able to boom and increase his score. Obviously, being on the bottom at the moment, because it's a fast castle, means he had less time to work on his eco. So, naturally, trying to catch up with town centers. Just under. Just three stone. Come on. There we go. We're going to get another town centre. No, we're getting farms instead. That's all good. Lots of archers there from Chris. Chris going up to castle, which means we can see crossbows coming up after this. And we've got even more. Still, these men at arms are still in the game. And losing most of them there, sadly. Jeez, those guys were survivors. But lots of archers are being created there for Viper. And I still can't see a third town centre. Looks like he's just sticking to the two for now. But he's got enough there in the bag if he wants to. Doubt going up now. What have we got? We've got skirmishes coming across the map towards Jordan. Jordan's army is largely composed, well, composed of archers, really. There's nothing else really there. So if he can get these up to elite, he could be in trouble. Lots of expos coming in here for the Viper. Well, against the Viper. And having to pull them back now. I believe they do outrange though, yes, so he is outranging. Just bringing these units here back, a very smart idea. And coming in through here with these skirmishes, might be able to kill off a few villagers with these. Yep, there's one. Come on, two, and my prediction was right. A few is two, everybody knows that. Come on, one. Yes! I was right. <laughs> no offense to Jordan, but I just wanted that to be right. Scorpion, very smart play there. Scorpion's, of course, very strong when in mass. We've got Jordan's forces coming back through here, and killing off a lot of villagers there. Of course, being able to survive this tower fire extremely easier, because skirmishes, 6th Pierce Army in Castle Age. That's ridiculous at this stage. And what else do we have? We have skirmishes over here slowly getting mauled to death. Uh, Jordan over here doing, well, keeping him off his lumber camp here. However, he does have a second one down over here, however, this would one be very easily harassable. We've got that third town centre up now for the Viper, which is always good play. And let's have a look at the skills. We've got L Clan, Chris on 3-1. We've got Doubt on 2-8, Viper on 2-8, and Jordan on 2-4. Jordan is copying an extremely hard game here. Manganel coming in here from the Viper, extremely good idea. Going to be able to kill off quite a few of these units very, very quickly. Jordan has actually been ganged up a lot on this series so far, so... Not a lot he can do about that, so I just had a small technical error there. Looking like they are all going to go down by the looks of it. Manganel there, extremely, extremely overpowered. Well, not overpowered, you have to use it in the right way. But doing, doing, its, doing its job very well. Alright, so we've got crossbows and siege moving out here for Viper against Chris. Naturally retreating these archers here because that Manganel and those Scorpion will absolutely tear them to pieces. Eagle Warrior though, scouting there. As you can see, he now knows what this army is comprised of. Meaning if he comes around the back or just goes straight to the Viper's base, he's going to be able to get a little bit more damage in. Manganel might just be able to reach that camp over there. Looks like it probably could have, but it doesn't look like it's going to be helping. And looks like a fourth town centre there for Viper. And Jordan's still being picked on down here. Taking a lot of damage. And what have we got? Viper up here, still under a lot of pressure from Chris. Doubt taking the lead now on 4,000 points. Doing quite a bit of damage using these counters that he's doing, saving a lot of resources for himself. And we've got Viper coming back down here to try and help Jordan out. And cavalry archers from Jordan, so getting pushed on really hard this early in the game really did affect Jordan's score. As you can see, Jordan's only on 3,000 points. Doubt is on 4, 4 5 now. Doing quite a bit of damage and breaking out the cavalry archers. Chris losing a lot of units there to Manganels and Scorpions. Like I said, Siege is extremely effective versus Archers. We have a lot of skirmishes coming in here. Honestly, they look like they walk like penguins at the moment. <laughs> oh, harsh. And rebuilding... Nope, lost his lifeline there. Using 
getting skirmishes to soak up damage. We've got the Viper going into Imperial Age. Probably a smart idea. Wonder if Doubt is going up. Doubt not going up. Jordan not going up. And Chris is nearly there, though. So Chris is going to be able to outmatch him with technology there for a short while. As we can see, we've got these Eagle Warriors coming in already. And lots of crossbows. Lots of Eagle Warriors being produced at this point. Let's swap over to Chris just so we can see what he's actually doing. We've got barracks here. Where was that mass barracks? Archer range, archer range. Barracks, 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 barracks. Come on, I'm waiting for Elite Eagle Warrior. Elite Eagle Warrior, there we go. Being done. Of course, Scorpion's effective first infantry too, as you can see, taking quite a bit of damage there. Looks like he's just lost all of them for pretty much nothing. But lots of barracks that they're going to be able to produce these Eagle Warriors, and the Viper is still quite a bit behind when it comes to aging up. Doubt too, though, that is the problem. I think Doubt would be upgrading by now. Viper going up, yep, Doubt nearly there. So going to be able to get the heavy cavalry archer there. What have we got down here? Lots of eagle warriors. Non elite though for Viper. But they do have the attack upgrade at this stage, which means it's pretty close. Or maybe not. Yep. Attack upgrade there. Might have been converted honestly, I must have been looking at it wrong. We have a hell of a lot of Eagle Warriors coming in here, and if Viper can't hold this up, look, not a lot of resources there for Chris. Viper has next to no gold though, Viper is in trouble for gold there. I think see he's got nothing coming out of the barracks now, and just holding this, he's got a few units coming out here and there, but not really doing a lot. That's a hell of a lot of Eagle Warriors at this point in the game. Oh, and stopping that castle as well. That's just mean. And good game there from Jordan. So there we go. Out of the best of six, we have three wins each. So ending in a draw. Whether or not they will play another one to see who actually wins, I can't tell you. But I will be keeping an eye out for one. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this quick six mini games.